Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Hannah Scholl. Hannah should have checked out some water parks, apparently. Yeah, your, your summer adventures should definitely <laughs> include pools, yes. water parks, lakes, things like that. Maybe the beach if you want to drive far. But I'm sure no one really wants to drive far with gas prices the way that they are. But it, well, no matter what your summer plans are, you need to stay hydrated. And these are some good safety tips just to remind us because it has been below average for much of June. Now that the heat is going to be cranked up for the rest of the week, these are some things that you need to remember. Check on the elderly, those without AC, limit time spent outdoors, wear light colored clothing, and never leave kids or pets unattended in vehicles. And we always say this, but really it takes a little bit of perspective because cars heat up very quickly. After 15 minutes on a 95 degree day, it's already at 114 degrees in your car. And 105 in your car for a 30 minutes or more is what is deadly for a child or potentially deadly. So we're already above the deadly range after only 15 minutes as far as the temperature inside the car goes. By the time you get to an hour, it's already at almost 140 degrees inside the car. And highs yesterday were close to that 95 degree mark. 94 was our high in Oklahoma City, but the humidity really played a factor in those fields like temperatures as it always does but just a little bit of water in the air can cause just a completely different experience outside so your highs to the west did make it into the triple digits highs to the east were in the lower 90s so not looking bad as far as air temperature goes feels like temperature however in the middle and upper 100s and 10 so 104 in Bristow 106 in Tulsa 101 in Holdenville the highest was 110 degrees for a field like temperature felt like 100 here in Oklahoma City that more humid air though it is shifting the hotter more humid air so the heat advisories excessive heat warnings those are now off into the east of us east even of Arkansas now through um, uh, Alabama and Georgia up through the Carolinas that is where the most humid air is it is still going to be hot today just a little bit more comfortable than we were yesterday but let's just get used to it buckle up the summertime air the summertime pattern is here we talk about a heat dome every single summer and that is going to be dominating our forecast for the nine day here we are on Thursday heat building to the west that hotter air is going to eventually make its way into Oklahoma but really we stay in the 90s for the entire nine day there we are on Saturday again it is pretty hot we do see a couple chances for passing showers but not a whole lot of widespread rain in the forecast all of those larger systems areas of low pressure they stay to our north as this heat dome builds and kind of blocks everything else out from getting to us so no cold front no large areas of rain for us. We're just staying hot and dry. On your way out the door, we don't have a lot of cloud cover. It is a little bit muggy and warm, 78 degrees to start off your day. Gusty winds from the south. I actually do enjoy a little bit of wind in the summer because it makes it more bearable on the way out the door. We have dry air in place, lots of sunshine in store for your day to day. Some people waking up still in the lower 80s, 80s through the panhandle and the long Along the northern Oklahoma Kansas border. We have gusty winds from the south all the way up to 30 miles per hour, upwards of 30 miles per hour. That wind is actually just going to stay pretty constant throughout the day, up to 30, maybe even gusts to 40 at times. But uh, the wind is going to make it feel a little bit more bearable. 93 degrees, your forecast high, 94 in Clinton, 93 in Hobart. Tonight, we're going to have another mild one, 75 degrees, your, high, your low in Oklahoma City. And the 90s return for tomorrow afternoon and stick with us through the entire nine day. Lots of sunshine for you. It is going to be kind of a pool day, nine day. Every day is a great pool day for you. We don't have a lot of storm chances either, so no dampening on those outdoor plans. And we even ramp up the heat even more as we head into early next week. Lacey.